हेलो एवरीवन तो सब लोगों को नमस्कार एंड उम्मीद करता हूं आप सब लोग अच्छे होंगे सो इन टुडे सेशन वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट हार्मोनिक्स इन थ्री फेस सर्किट सो दिस दिस सेशन इज कॉफी विद कंसेप्ट एंड आई होप यू आर एंजॉइंग द प्रीवियस सेशंस आल्सो सो आज के सेशन में मैंने कुछ टॉपिक्स लिए हैं थ्री फेस कनेक्शन के ऊपर हारमोनिक्स कब थ्री फेस सर्किट्स में आते हैं खासकर ट्रिपल एन हारमोनिक्स स्पेशली स्टार कनेक्शन और डेल्टा कनेक्शन में कैसे ट्रिपल एन हारमोनिक्स हमारे इंट्रोड्यूस होते हैं एंड कब किस फेज में या लाइन में नहीं होते हैं करंट्स में हारमोनिक्स कब आते हैं सो दैट थिंग आई विल टैकल इन दिस सेशन सो चलिए स्टार्ट करते हैं एंड स्पेशली आई विल बी कंसर्न अबाउट ट्रिपल एन हारमोनिक्स मैं सारे हारमोनिक्स की बात नहीं करूँगा मैं ट्रिपल एन हारमोनिक्स की बात करूंगा इसमें ओके सो लेट्स बिगिन द सेशन सो दिस इज माय इंट्रोडक्शन एंड आई टीच ऑलमोस्ट एवरी सब्जेक्ट इन इलेक्ट्रिकल इंजीनियरिंग सो यू कैन स्टार्ट योर प्रिपरेशन विद मी एंड यू कैन जॉइन मी ऑन बाय चूज ओके दिस इज अ फ्री वर्कशॉप इफ यू आर इफ यू आर प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर गेट 2024 सो यू कैन यू कैन जॉइन दिस वर्कशॉप एंड यू कैन गेट इनसाइट हाउ टू प्रिपेयर इन अ बेटर वे ओके एंड दिस वर्कशॉप इज टेकन बाय रशुल Uh, he got uh, only rank 12 in gate 2023 so you can uh, get the ideas from him and this workshop will be on 7th of may at 12:30 pm okay uh, the this is all about results uh, the, the gate 2023 uh, results okay so uh, the thing is uh, you have to join the uh, our channel so please subscribe our channel press the bell icon and don't forget to like this session so let's uh, start this session guys जो पहला क्वेश्चन है दैट आई वांट टू टैकल इज व्हाई ट्रिपल एन हार्मोनिक्स आर नॉट प्रेजेंट इन लाइन वोल्टेजेस हमें यह देखना है कि लाइन वोल्टेज में ट्रिपल एन हार्मोनिक क्यों नहीं होता है एंड द सेकंड इज इन विच कनेक्शन स्टार और डेल्टा इन विच कनेक्शन ट्रिपल एन हार्मोनिक इन फेज वोल्टेजेस आर एब्सेंट फेज वोल्टेज में वेद स्टार और डेल्टा किसमें ट्रिपल एन हार्मोनिक नहीं होता है और किसमें होता है वो अपने को देखना है तो सबसे पहले मैंने स्टार कनेक्शन लिया है नाउ द क्वेश्चन इज द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज व्हाई दिस हार्मोनिक्स केम इनटू पिक्चर लेट्स से दिस इज द फेज वोल्टेज अगर आप स्टार कनेक्शन देखें सो दिस इज द फेज वोल्टेज और इस फेज वोल्टेज में यहां पे अगर आप थोड़ा सा देखें तो मैंने यहां पे हार्मोनिक्स लिया है दिस इज द फंडामेंटल दिस इज थर्ड हार्मोनिक दिस इज फिफ्थ हार्मोनिक एंड सोन सो देयर कैन बी मल्टीपल हार्मोनिक इन दिस फेज वोल्टेज नाउ द क्वेश्चन इज ये क्यों आया है ये किस वजह से इंट्रोड्यूस हुआ है द रीजन बिहाइंड इज इज जो ये वोल्टेज हमारी हमारी इंड्यूस हुई है दैट इज इन साइड द ऑल्टरनेटर थ्री फेज ऑल्टरनेटर और जो थ्री फेज ऑल्टरनेटर होता है उसमें ड्यू टू एसिमेट्री हार्मोनिक्स इंट्रोड्यूस होते हैं जैसे कि अगर मैं आपको एक 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 सिंपल आइडिया दू तो लेट्स से मैं आपको एक ऑल्टरनेटर दिखाता हूं तो इमेजिन कीजिए कि ये मेरा एक ऑल्टरनेटर है एंड यहां पे मेरी ए फेज की क्वाइल है एंड इससे 120 डिग्री पे ए ए प्राइम दिस इज ए ए प्राइम 120 डिग्री पे बी बी प्राइम क्वाइल है ओके एंड इससे 120 डिग्री सी सी प्राइम क्वाइल है ओके सो देर आर थ्री फेज क्वाइल्स एंड यहां पे मेरे पास परमानेंट मैग्नेट नॉर्थ एंड साउथ ओके एंड इट इज रोटेटिंग बिकॉज ऑफ रोटेशन ऑब्वियसली यहां पर वोल्टेज इंड्यूस होगी ए फेज में भी बी फेज में एंड सी फेज में बट दैट इंड्यूस्ड वोल्टेज विल कंटेन हारमोनिक्स हारमोनिक्स आर ड्यू टू स्पेस डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन ऑफ दिस फ्लक्स जो हमारा जो फ्लक्स की वेव बनेगी यहां पर नॉर्थ एंड साउथ की उसके अंदर हारमोनिक्स है बिकॉज ऑफ दैट फेजिस के अंदर जो वोल्टेज इंड्यूस हुई है उसमें हारमोनिक्स है नाउ लेट से ये हमारे पास वोल्टेज में जो हमारी ए फेज की वोल्टेज है उसमें यह इंड्यूस हुआ है तो एक्चुअल में जो हम कनेक्शन करते हैं जो ये क्वाइल होती है दीज क्वाइल्स विल एक्ट लाइक अ सोर्स सो एक्चुअली वी हैव सिक्स कनेक्शन सिक्स पॉइंट्स, थ्री क्वाइल्स ए ए प्राइम बी बी प्राइम एंड सी सी प्राइम वी हैव थ्री क्वाइल्स एंड सिक्स कनेक्शन सो वी हैव टू कनेक्ट देम सो देर आर टू पॉसिबल कनेक्शन वन इज स्टार वन इज स्टार एंड वन इज डेल्टा ओके वन इज डेल्टा सो यू कैन कनेक्ट देम लाइक दिस सो देर आर there are two possible connection one is star connection and one is delta connection now this coil will act like a source this coil will act like a source and the voltage induced in this coil is this i call it van i call it van this point is the neutral point and this point is the phase a point okay so this is my van and it has harmonics fundamental third fifth seventh ninth okay 
Similarly, the B phase. Since the B phase is 120 degree away, so I have to take minus 120 degree. So the fundamental voltage in phase B is Vm1 sine of omega 1t minus 120. Now here I have to write Vm3 sine of 3. Previously it was 3 omega 1t in, uh, in phase A. Now in phase B, I have taken this 3 common and omega 1t minus 120 degree. Similarly, the fifth harmonic is this. And in phase C, this is the fundamental voltage. In phase C, we have to take plus 120. So this is the fundamental voltage, this is third harmonic and this is fifth harmonic voltage. So I told you why the harmonics came into uh, the phase voltages in star connection. Now the question is, okay, we got the harmonics in, in these phase voltages. Now I have to look at the line voltage. If you look at the line voltage, if you look at VAB, let's say, VAB is my line voltage. So VAB is equal to VN minus VBN and I call it, call it line voltage. Now let's try to calculate that. VAN minus VBN. So if I take the difference, then this is VAN, this is VBN. So I have to take the difference. But before taking the difference, I want to simplify this VBN. If I write VBN, then VBN will be equal to, if I write it clearly, then it will be equal to VM1 sine of omega 1t minus 120 degree plus Vm3 sine of, if I take this 3 inside, so it will become 3 omega 1t minus 360. Now 360, 120 into 3, 120 into 3 is 360. 360 is 0 itself, so you don't need to write 360, okay. So this is my uh, third harmonic voltage, okay. This is my third harmonic voltage. Now let's come to fifth harmonic voltage. So this is my third harmonic voltage plus Vm5, Vm5 a sine of 5 omega 1t, now it is 5 omega 1t minus 600, this is minus 600 and minus 600 can be written as minus 360 minus, minus 360 minus 240, okay. You can write it like this. If you are writing like this, then minus 360 is 0, it is equivalent to 0 and minus 240 is equivalent to plus 120. So you can say plus 120 here and so on, okay. So these are the harmonics in phase B. Now I want to take the difference. If you want to take the difference, let's call VAB, then you can see that the fundamental component in phase A is this and phase B is this. So we have to take the difference VAN minus VBN for the fundamental. So it will be VAB, let's call it VAB1 and next will be VAB3, third harmonic voltage and VAB5, fifth harmonic voltage and so on and so on. Now we have to calculate VAB1. So what is VAB1? VAB1, tell me guys, VAB1 is VAN1 minus VBN1, 1 means fundamental, okay. So this is VAN1 and this is VBN1. So if you take the difference, it will be root 3 VM1 sine of omega 1t plus 30 degree, okay. You can take the difference and you will get VAB1 as this. So you can see that the the, the fundamental voltage, the, it is uh, the line voltage in the fundamental, I mean the, the, the fundamental voltage in the line voltage is root 3 times of the phase voltage and it is leading by 30 degree, okay. Now let's come to VAB3. Now in, if you look at the third harmonic in phase A and in phase B, then you can see that they are in the same phase. If you take the difference, they will cancel. It means it will be 0, okay. So third harmonic will be absent in line voltage. Similarly, we can calculate the fifth harmonic. So if you calculate the fifth harmonic, VAB5, if you calculate fifth harmonic, then you have to take the difference of this voltage and this voltage. And if you take the difference, it is at 0 degree, it is at plus 120 degree. So if you take the difference, you will get a root 3 times of VM5, root 3 times of VM5 sine of 5 omega 1t minus 30, okay. This will be my fifth harmonic. Similarly, you can calculate seventh harmonic and then ninth harmonic. Ninth harmonic will again be zero. Ninth harmonic will again be zero. It means in the line voltage, in the line voltage, 
the odd multiple of 3 harmonics which are odd multiple of 3 will be absent and odd multiple of 3 are known as triplet harmonics harmonic which are odd multiple of 3 are known as triplet harmonics now what are uh, those harmonics third third ninth 15th they, they all are called triplet harmonics 21st okay 27th they all are called triplet harmonics odd multiple of 3 we call them triplet harmonics so triplet harmonics you can easily see that they will be absent in line voltages you will not see them in line voltage i hope it is clear why in line voltage triplet harmonics should not be there okay so the first question is clear why triplet harmonics are not present in line voltage this is the reason they will cancel now let's come to the next thing i have a load connected i want to discuss about current also triplet harmonics in current let's discuss that part also so what i have uh, uh, what i did is i connected a load also and load is also in uh, in star connection we can also make it in delta okay there is no problem let's say the load is there and the load is connected in star and the source is also connected in star and the source has triplet harmonics let's say because uh, in source we have the phase voltages and in phase voltages we have triplet harmonics you can see that we have already assumed that that it, it contain third harmonic fifth harmonic seventh ninth so odd, all odd harmonics are there in the phase voltages i connected a load now in this load i don't want to connect the switch i don't want to turn on the switch if you don't want to turn on the switch then the situation will be a bit different and if you switch on if you put the switch in on condition then the situation will be different so let's first put it on because it is an easier condition to understand if you close the switch then what will happen this voltage will be in parallel with this voltage it means whatever voltage is available here the same voltage will be available here so you can say that since this voltage van this contain triplet harmonics so this voltage will also contain triplet harmonics it means across this phase, across this load, you will have triple and harmonic voltage. Similarly, across this load, similarly across this load. It means if you have triple and harmonic voltage across this phase, so obviously whatever the impedance of this load is, whatever the impedance of this load is, voltage divided by that impedance will be the current. So it means in this current IA, if you look at looking this current IA, A phase current, if you are looking at this, this IA, then that, this, this A phase current will be equal to VAN, this, this point is A and this point is N. So VAN divided by the impedance, divided by the impedance of this. Okay, now VAN contain harmonics. VN has triplet harmonics, third harmonic, ninth harmonic. So uh, all these harmonics are present in VN. So IA will also contain triplet harmonics. It means this IA will has uh, we will have uh, IA1, IA3, IA5 and so on. Okay, so third harmonic current or triplet harmonic current will be present in this line current or phase current. Now, if you look at the, if, let's say the load is balanced. If you say that the load is balanced, then at this point you can apply the KCL. You can apply the KCL. If you apply the KCL at this point, then you can say that this neutral current will be equal to, if you calculate this neutral current, then the neutral current IN will be equal to IA plus IB plus IC. IA plus IB plus IC. So, if you want to add these current, then you can easily say that the fundamental current of this phase, this phase, this phase, they are at 120 degree away. So, they will cancel. But the Third harmonic current, if you look at the phase A and phase B and phase C, the third harmonic current will always be in same phase. Because if the third harmonic current in phase A is sin 3 omega t, then in phase B also it will be sin 3 omega t and C also it will be sin 3 omega t. And since the load is balanced, the magnitude will also be balanced. So it will be added, it will not be zero. You can say that, now you can say that IN will contain only triple and harmonic, okay. The fundamental component of this phase, this phase and this phase, they will cancel out. The fifth harmonic will cancel out. Seventh harmonic will cancel out because they are at 120 degree away from one another. That's why the triplet harmonic, if you look at the triplet harmonic, they will not cancel. They will add up because they are in the same phase. I have already told you, look at the voltage. The same behavior will be occurring. Triplet harmonic voltage in phase A and in phase B, they are in the same phase. That's why if you take the difference, they will cancel. 
If you take the difference, they will cancel. The third harmonic will cancel. But here you are not taking the difference. Here you are adding them. So if you are adding them and uh, if they are at 120 degree from one another, then you can easily say that uh, they will cancel and the resultant will be zero, but not in case of triple harmonic. So you can say that the neutral current will always contain contain triplen harmonics triplen harmonics okay so neutral in neutral current in will contain only triplen harmonic if the load is balanced okay so i hope this is clear to you and this condition was when the switch was closed so in line voltages you have fundamental third fifth it means triplen harmonic is there in the line line current in the line current you will have the triplen harmonic but in neutral current, neutral wire current, only triple and harmonic current will be there. Okay. Fundamental, fifth, seventh, they will cancel because of KCL. Okay. Now let's come to the next situation. And the next situation is you don't close the switch. Okay. If you don't close the switch, what will happen? If you don't close the switch, obviously this current has to be zero. This current has to be zero. IN has to be zero. This current should not be present. Now, you can see that if this phase current or this phase current or this phase current, IE, IV and IC, if they contain triple harmonic, then their sum cannot be zero. Because the triple, the third harmonic in phase A, third harmonic in phase B and third harmonic in phase C, they must be in the same phase and if they are added, they cannot be zero. But since the switch is open, the total current has to be zero. Fundamental of this, fundamental of this, fundamental of this. They will be added and they will be zero. The addition of, uh, of the, these current will be zero because they are, they are at 120 degree away from one another. So fundamental sum is zero. Fifth harmonic sum is zero. Seventh harmonic sum is zero. But ninth harmonic, third harmonic, fifteenth harmonic, that sum will not be zero. But it must be zero. How to make it zero? There is only one possibility. And that possibility is, let's say this line current doesn't contain this triple and harmonic current if the line current doesn't contain the triple and harmonic current then you can see that this ia ib or ic they doesn't have the triple and harmonic component they have only fundamental fifth seventh eleventh okay they don't have the triple and harmonic co component if they don't have the triple and harmonic co component then you can easily say that their sum will be always zero so in this case if the switch is open then this line current doesn't contain triple and harmonic current. Because if the line current contains the triple and harmonic current, then their sum will not be zero. But it has to be zero because there is no path. There is no return path. So the only possibility is they don't contain the triple and harmonic current. Now the question is, sir, this voltage has triple and harmonic value. I mean, uh, this phase voltage has triple and harmonic voltage. How can it be possible that this current doesn't have triple harmonic current. This doesn't. This current doesn't have triple harmonic component. How it is possible? It is possible because let's say this this phase voltage has fundamental, okay, and third harmonic voltage and fifth harmonic. Let's say, okay. Now, if I assume that this point is ground, with respect to ground, this voltage is this. It contains uh, v1 v3 and v5 so we we don't want this current contain this tri triple and harmonic component so for that at this point the voltage has to be v3 if at this point the voltage is v3 then you can see what is the voltage difference across impedance z the voltage difference across this impedance will be this voltage because with respect to ground the above point this point has this voltage this voltage minus v3 so this third harmonic voltage will cancel only fundamental and fifth harmonic or seventh harmonic, they will, they will, uh, you can say, retain here. Okay. It means the third harmonic voltage will be gone or triple and harmonic voltages will be gone. So the current will never contain triple and harmonic component in this situation. Okay. When the switch is not closed. I hope it is clear to everyone. Okay. Now let's move to the next point. So I told you about the current also. Um, uh, uh, in in current uh, when the triple harmonic will be present or not okay and this was about a star connection this was about star connection what will happen if the load is connected in delta if i connect the load in delta then the situation is very easy 
in delta we don't have neutral point okay if the load is connected in delta we don't have neutral point okay if the load is connected in delta we don't have neutral point and if you don't have neutral point it means the neutral current has to be zero on the star side this connection is not available because this load is delta okay so this side is open and this is connected in delta it means the neutral current has to be zero and neutral current will only be zero if this line current or this line current or this line current doesn't have the triplet harmonic okay so now in delta you can easily say since it is not connected to the neutral of the source so the neutral current has to be zero and the neutral current will only be zero if the these line current doesn't contain the triplet harmonic so you can say that these current will not contain triplet harmonic moreover in delta connection if you look at the phase voltage if you look at this voltage let's call it a and b and c other this called b and this is c okay now if you look at this voltage vab now you can say that since the phase voltage across the load vab is the line voltage here so vab is the line voltage in star connection okay and this line voltage will become the phase voltage here in delta so now you can see that in this line voltage vab there is no triplet harmonic voltage if this line voltage doesn't contain triplet harmonic voltage so this current will also not contain triplet harmonic component it means in this current there is no triplet harmonic current in this current there is no triplet harmonic component in this current there is no triplet harmonic component it means in line as well as in phase there will be no triplet harmonic current when the load is in delta connection i hope it is clear now let's come to voltage again and voltage in case of delta connected coils okay so now the coils are connected in delta which coils are connected in delta those coils which are inside the alternator these coils are connected in delta 4 okay so they are connected in delta and if you want to represent these coils in terms of source then you have to represent it like this okay this is the voltage induced in this coil along with the internal impedance this is internal impedance of this coil this is internal impedance of this coil and this is the internal impedance of this coil now you may ask sir this internal impedance should be shown in case of star also yes it should be shown in case of star also if you if you are showing in star connection then also you have to show the internal impedance but it was not necessary here why because we were not i mean the load is not connected here we are only looking the line voltage so if you are looking only the line voltage the current is not flowing so you don't need to look at the internal impedance okay if you are interested in voltages only okay that's why i have not taken the in internal impedances now if the load is connected then you have to take the internal impedance yes if the load is connected then you have to take the internal impedance of these coils but that internal impedance is added to this load i mean you can take that na because uh, that internal impedance will be in series with this load so you can take that internal impedance in 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 the combination with this load and you can represent it as one i mean as single load okay i hope it is clear that's why i have not shown the internal impedances here okay but in case of this delta i have to take the internal impedance and those internal impedance should be connected like this now we know that in this voltage there is fundamental third fifth seventh ninth okay all these harmonics are there but if you look at this voltage vab if you look at this voltage vab in this vab in this voltage vab you don't have triplet harmonic why not why not why we don't have triplet harmonic voltage in vab or vbc or vca it means in line voltage again you don't have triplet harmonic voltages why is so the reason is in this voltage let's say the third harmonic voltage is there fundamental third fifth okay all these harmonics are there okay but if you move in a loop let's say you move in a loop if you apply the kvl in this in this loop then you can say that the fundamental of this phase fundamental of this phase and fundamental of this phase okay fundamental of this phase fundamental of this phase and fundamental of this phase okay wait a minute okay so what i was saying i was saying that i was saying that uh, the polarity i have to check the polarity first okay yes now you can see that 
uh, in this phase, fundamental third and fifth all are there. Similarly, in this phase, similarly in this phase. If you move in a loop, in this loop, if you add the fundamental of this phase and fundamental of this phase and fundamental of this phase, they are 120 degree away from one another, so their sum will be zero. It means there is zero total voltage of fundamental component. There is no fundamental component in this loop, so there will be no circulating current due to fundamental component. But because of the third harmonic component, if you look at the third harmonic component of this phase, this coil, this coil, and if you look at the fundamental uh, third harmonic voltage of this coil and third harmonic voltage of this coil, okay, because there are three coils, na? so if you take the third harmonic voltage in these three coils, if you look at the third harmonic voltage in these three coils, they will be in same phase. And if you move in a loop, then you can see that they, it will be added because they are in the same phase. The third harmonic voltage are in the same phase. If they are in the same phase and if you are moving in a loop, then they will be added. If they are added, the total loop voltage will be 3V3 and the total impedance is Z3, Z3, Z3. So, 3Z3. It means there will be a circulating current. There will be a circulating current due to third harmonic. Similarly, due to ninth harmonic. Why there is no circulating current due to fundamental? Because if you are adding the fundamental component of this phase, this phase and this phase, the sum will be zero. That's why there will be no circulating current due to fundamental component. The circulating current only because of third, ninth, fifteenth, okay, all triplet harmonics will produce circulating current. And you can see that this is the circulating current V3 by Z3. This is the circulating current. Now, because of this circulating current, if you look at this drop, if you look at this drop, Let's say only third harmonic component. Let's look at the third harmonic component current only. So if there is a third harmonic component of circulating current, and if you look at this drop, this drop will be this circulating current into Z3. So if you multiply this circulating current with Z3, you will get the voltage as V3. Okay. It means across these impedances, you have the voltage induced. You have the voltage. Okay. Across these impedances, you have the voltage. It's not induced actually. You have the voltages, okay? And these voltages will always be triple and harmonic voltages. Now, if you look at the total voltage VAB, so if you are looking at the total voltage across these two points, then not only the source voltage will appear, this voltage will also appear. And you can easily see that if it is added, if you are going from this side, you are going from minus to plus. If it is added, then it should be subtracted. It means if you're looking, if you are looking at the total voltage across AB, then this triplet harmonic has to cancel because this voltage contain only triplet harmonic and in this we have triplet fundamental third fundamental fifth seven all these harmonics are there so if you are subtracting them because you have to subtract according to the polarity if you are subtracting the triplet harmonic will cancel that's why across these two points you will always have zero triplet harmonic voltages okay so triplet harmonic voltages will not be present between these two points similarly between these two points and these two points so in delta connection also you don't have triplet harmonic voltage in line but there will be a circulating current there will be a circulating current of a triplet harmonic component okay so triplet harmonic component will be circulating here and because of that there will be an internal drop of triplet harmonic voltages. That's why at these two points, there will be no triplet harmonic voltages. I hope it is clear. Okay. So this uh, session was all about these harmonics, whether the triplet harmonic will be present in, in line or not. And uh, it's all about voltage and current. Okay. So I told you about the voltage and current. Okay. So these were the two questions and I hope you understood these questions. So, okay. So this was... Uh, a coffee with concept car, uh, uh, session and i hope uh, you enjoyed uh, this session so don't forget to subscribe our channel and install our mobile app uh, mobile app you can go to the google play store and search byju's exam prep there you will find uh, our mobile app install that and there also you'll uh, you'll find uh, many free lectures so you can enjoy those lectures also okay guys so that's all for today's session i hope you enjoyed see you in some other session thank you and take care bye